We are seeing floating islands, smart cities, and some of the most innovative designs for urban living. But can you imagine a thriving metropolis in the middle of the American desert? But there's a catch. It has futuristic infrastructure and carefully planned design filled with autonomous vehicles and technology in every core of the city. Sort of like what the future in the Back to the Future movie was. What about a city that combines the hustle and bustle of New York, the futuristic infrastructure of New York, and the eco-friendly approach like Stockholm? You'd be very surprised, right? Well, all of what we talked about isn't anything far from the future, because a city named Telosa aims to do the exact same thing. It would be an insane multi-billion dollar plan to create a futuristic city that would make the line look normal. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at one of the most inspiring future cities and America's biggest project named Telosa, which is in response to Saudi's line project. But before we begin, if you're interested in knowing more about exciting construction wonders and future cities, subscribe to our channel. Now, let's begin. The city of Telosa is America's promise. It's the future of America. It is a planned development that promises not just to be another city of the future, but a more sustainable, better, and innovative place for mankind. This city aims to become a completely new model for the society, similar to what Neom did with the Line City. If you don't know about the Line, it is a city built in a straight line that aims to decrease carbon footprint and increase efficiency of the residents. Since the world is going through so many climate crises day by day, these megacities are the world's response to an increasingly difficult future that's yet to come, and we are planning to raise our living standards by applying money, innovation, and exciting infrastructure into it. You can see that a lot of countries have already started thinking about their future and how they're going to cater to the change of climate, making the world more sustainable and better living for both animals and humans. We have overpopulation and climate change. These future cities aim to make us realize what it means to create thriving cities. After industrialization, humans forgot the importance of sustainable living, and we have already done a lot of damage to the world. Now, back to our subject. The name Telosa comes from the ancient Greek word telos, which simply means the greatest purpose. And this concept is older than you might think. It was unveiled back in 2001 to the American audience and was marketed by the American billionaire Mark Lohr. Shortly after stepping down as the CEO and president of the famous Walmart store, Mark Lohr announced his ambitious goal to make one of the most thriving and future-oriented cities called Telosa. His aim is to create a more equitable and sustainable future which can become a blueprint for the future generation to come. Moreover, behind this ambitious project, we have the world-renowned Danish architecture firm Bjarke Ingels, who is also involved in the construction of a plethora of other major projects like Telosa. Bjarke was also funded by Toyota to create a future smart city in Japan that would become the future of living. The main reason behind Telosa's making is to make a city that would serve the needs of the people. That's the foundation behind this mega city. Currently, more than 50% of the world's population lives in cities, but that's not where the real problem comes in. This population is supposed to increase as much as 70% by 2056, and that's where overpopulation will really become a problem. With Telosa, the goal is to build a city where there will be equal opportunities given to everyone, regardless of their race, ethnicity, and the color of their skin. It is a city that wants to ignite what America originally meant. To achieve this ambitious plan, Telosa is aiming to introduce an economic structure called equitism. But how does it even work? Simply put, the city is designed in a way where the citizens of Telosa will benefit from its growth. To make it even simpler, all of the land will be owned by Telosa, but the residents can make houses on it and thrive as a family. Moreover, as the city grows, the land prices will also grow, which would mean more investments for the government, and these investments would be put back into the city's growth. Everything is focused on the city's growth, and that's why Telosa is becoming increasingly popular as the days are coming closer. 
All these funds would cater to public transport, healthcare, education, and other services. But where exactly is this city planned to be built? Well, Tolosa will be built on top of the American West, in the states of Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Arizona, or Texas. Some other reports say that Tolosa might also be built in the East region, but that's highly unlikely. But an important question arises. Out of all the vast land available in America, why is Tolosa being built in these deserts? The biggest reason, and the one that makes the most sense, is that there's simply so much cheap and readily available land in the desert. Yes, you don't need to do a lot of destruction of properties or anything, and it just comes cheap in every aspect. Moreover, with Tolosa's plan of making the land value and turning it into a property machine, the desert would be key in making the economy thrive. In other words, the land itself has the potential to pay for itself and go above and beyond to make the city more economically stable. However, even with a cheap price, building a sprawling metropolis in the middle of the desert comes with its own set of challenges. You see, building a city in the middle of the desert isn't the ideal or the smartest way. When we look at Saudi's Neom Line City, it comes with a lot of challenges. This is because, to build a city, you would need to build operating facilities to house all the materials and get the construction ready. So, getting all that land for so cheap is worth it? Well, technically, yeah. Some other concerns are the problems of temperature, less water, and the energy impact to the city with this harsh environment. However, Telosa is planned to be fully powered through renewable sources of energy. Each building of the city will have photovoltaic cells installed on the roofs that would give a lot of free power to the city. Moreover, at the heart of Tolosa, we have Equitism Tower, the tallest structure that will serve as an iconic landmark and a beacon of hope for people who are living in the beautiful city. Tolosa is planned to be a 15-minute city, with workplaces, schools, and basic goods and services being within a 15-minute commute from residents' homes. Vehicles that are powered by fossil fuels will not be permitted within the city, with an emphasis instead being placed upon walkability and the use of scooters, bicycles, and autonomous electric vehicles. A massive skyscraper dubbed Equitism Tower is conceived to serve as a beacon for the city. The skyscraper's projected features include space for water storage, aeroponic farms, and a photovoltaic roof. It is a proposed utopian planned U.S. city conceived by American billionaire Mark Lore and announced in September 2021. The project has a target population of 5 million people by 2050, with the first phase of construction expected to house 50,000. The location had initially not been chosen, with the project's planners intending for the city to be built on cheap land in Appalachia or the American West Desert. But with a number of challenges like the huge budget, greater energy consumption, harsh working environment, and the inability to choose an exact location, a lot of people have been rather skeptical about this city. Another challenge is the location of the city. The developers of Tolosa have not yet chosen a location for the city, but they have said that they are looking for a piece of land that is at least 150,000 hectares in size. Finding a piece of land that is large enough and affordable enough will be a challenge. While we know they're considering some locations, it is still unclear where exactly Tolosa will be built. For a city that is so ambitious, there's no completion date available, and it seems like a long-term project for the future generations to come. With a city that resembles the Back to the Future movie, but more sustainable and greener than ever, what are your thoughts on Tolosa? Will it be completed or get abandoned like a billionaire's wish? Let us know in the comments down below. And before you log off, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in moving future city videos like these.